Now we're going to take this two inch wide fluted compo molding, uh, dip the end in boiling water. It makes for a really good joint in the end. He dips the ends that are going to go together so they'll fuse together when he pushes them together and mounts them together. Now they'll set it on that steam table canvas for 30 seconds or so or until they get pretty sticky and hot. And when it's steamed enough, it starts to get very flexible, gets very sticky on the back. Again, 15% high glue in the mix of the putty. He uses a putty knife to lift the piece off. It's almost like a belt. Goes right down into the groove. Press it evenly, making sure not to distort the straightness of these different flutes that are on there. And the next piece will have to be put on there. Again, you want to push the joints together tightly so that you can't really see them. You just press it in place so it's 100% contact with the wood underneath. With the wet compo, you can sort of touch up the joint, make it disappear. Take the large compo ornament, dip the end in for a good seam when it's all put together, and he's going to lay that on the steam table. And then he'll steam that for probably about 40 seconds. Then he's going to take the second one and dip the part in the boiling water that's going to match, and he's going to lay that on the steam table. So he's doing these two at a time. It could be done two at a time or just one at a time. But the key here is to get, steam it enough that the glue is activated uh, and also that you'll be able to close the joints up tightly. He's going to mount that down. It's been steamed enough. He presses it tightly against the wood on the bottom. Uh, he tries to make sure it's straight up and down and 90 degrees to the bottom. And then he'll, he'll have to get the other piece right away and carry that over and fit it in to make a good joint. Everything pressed into place. This glue, once again, you don't need nails, you don't need any other glue. It's strictly using the 15% high glue that's in the material itself. Now with a warm, damp cloth, you can come back and wipe that a little if there happens to be residue on the face. 